Hey, everybody, it's Picks in Deep, the show where I guess we have a dress code now. Uh, I'm JD Buckus. <laughs> He's Justin Bourne. Uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at JD Buckus, at JT Bourne. Hot start for this round of picks. Uh, neither of us liked the Montreal Canadiens, even though I tried to kind of reverse curse it, couldn't pull myself to do it, had to give the honest picks. I guess let's start with this question. Do we see any reason why we're not betting the Vegas Golden Knights yet again in this game? I just can't bring myself to bet the line, which is like minus six billion. Honestly, it's about minus 250 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Just in any hockey game, that's not that's too much juice for me. So I, I'm staying away from that. So I've reached this conclusion that like I am going to bet on one team outplaying the other team. And that would be Vegas outplaying Montreal, which is right. why I went for shots. So at 31 and a half shots, you can get the over at about minus 125 for, for Vegas. So I'm taking over on shots for Vegas. The only reason that I'm not taking that, because I looked at it as well, is I was tracking back and looking at some of Vegas's games. They do a pretty good job of being effective without generating a ton of shot opportunities. And, mm -hmm. and I kind of look at this last game against Montreal as a bit of a template where Montreal gives their best punch early. Vegas scores a ton of goals. Vegas starts to shut it you down. love the game script. <laughs> I love the game script. And I just, I believe in this game script. I just, if this is yeah. Montreal, they're going to come out. They're going to come out trying to fire. They're going to give you their best punch early. I just think they're completely overwhelmed. No Petrie still with the finger injury. You got Mark Bergevin running around the arena, checking little holes, the camera holes to see. I don't exactly know what he's looking for, but he's looking. I just think Vegas is dominant. And so I got two that kind of pair with them. One is I'm just taking Vegas minus one and a half because it's plus 107 right now. They beat Montreal 4-1 in that game. And Montreal was awesome in the first period. They had their best punch. I think that they're going to have the entire series. I like Vegas' goaltending. I like the way Vegas is healthy. I like the way that they're rolling their lines. There's just, there's nothing about their team that I'm nitpicking right now, which is rare, rare, rare. And with Montreal, it's just not the same. I don't like their health. I don't like their way that they're playing. I do love their goal, Ilya, could you not? But basically everything else is just not stacking up. So for me, the bet is Vegas one and a half plus 107, which yeah. also pairs with empty net goal, is plus 170. Plus 170, huh? Plus 170. So you need a team to be leading in regulation. Your confidence is going to be Vegas. Yep. I'm confident okay. it's going to be Vegas. And I feel like if it is Vegas, Montreal is going to be more inclined to pull Carey Price earlier than they normally would, knowing that it's a bit of a kitchen sink game and that they need to go to him. Am All I right. a sucker for doing this? Is it just that I have a bias of believing that you should pull the goalie extremely early when you're down in a hockey game, or especially if you're down two goals. I, again, I just think that this series is going to continue to be a beatdown, And so I'm going to continue to bet it that way. It's one of the ways you can bet on Vegas to be winning and actually make money. So I uh, like that. Uh, you mentioned their health with uh, Petrie out or struggling and Weber struggling with his hand. That's why I lean on the shots thing. Cause Carey price scares me and I don't want to bet goals. I don't trust anyone nope. to score in price ever, but a couple of their top guys, you can get Mark stone over one and a half shots. It doesn't pay great. It's like minus minus one fifty, but I I'm so confident in that I'm going to throw some money on it. And then, um, Who's the other one? Oh, March or so. March so's line is two and a half yeah. points, and he's about minus 130 for that. Not a great payout, but again, I'm confident their top guys are going to get some shot attempts. So I've actually been circling March or so as well. Like, I feel like he's the one skill guy that Vegas has that isn't properly getting valued by the books. Yeah. Like, if you look at him compared to uh, what Stone is getting, whereas Stone is like, I was saying this on the radio show the other day, that he's doing a little bit of reminding me of Pavel Datsuk things, where it's, he doesn't need to be scoring to be just impacting every single right. shift. And yet his odds are far more slanted than Marcia. So's. I don't really think they should be. So I like that one. I'm actually going to go the opposite way with my shot prop, which is I'm going to bet under Shea Weber, two and a half shots, a lot oh. of juice. It's minus minus one fifty five, which is pretty heavy. So you might want to parlay it with something, but Shea Weber's gone under that number eight out of 12 times, these playoffs, including four straight games, two of which, he had zero shots on her paw. I'm hammering that. that. I'm hammering that. I love that. That's what I mean. I saw the now. hurt wrist and now I'm expecting Shea Weber to get three shots in this game. I, no. I just don't know where he's getting those or how a hockey genius like Shea Weber is going to think that him with a hurt wrist from the point is going to score on this version of Marc-Andre Fleury. Don't see it. So 
That's my favorite bet. I'm locking that one in. I'm probably going to parlay it. If you want to play any of these bets or you want to fade any of these bets or you're interested in betting, you can always DM us at JD Bunkus, at JT Bourne. Probably the best way is on Instagram. Good luck out there.